Hello and welcome to Flip Flops and Notebooks Book Reviews. I am Elliot and are you ready for a what knuckled edge of your seat jump at every noise kind of thriller mystery book? If so, then let me tell you about Heather Gudenkaus' newest book called The Overnight Guest. It was just a perfect atmospheric book. It had my hairs on the back of my neck literally standing up on edge for most of it. It was that good. All right, make yourself a cup of coffee or tea and let's get started. First of all, thank you to the publisher Park Row and Nat Galley for providing me a copy. All of my opinions are my own. And uh, yeah, so let's get started. I, I thought it was a perfect book to use to curl up in this wonderful seat of mine and get cozy and read during a blizzard. We had a historic blizzard, historic I think. We had a lot of snow about a month and a half ago. So I thought, well, let's pick up this book, see what this mystery thriller suspense kind of story is all about. And I was pretty cozy for the first three pages. And then I got eerie. I mean, I was unprepared for how eerie and atmospheric this story was going to be. And let me just read you a very short kind of excerpt from it. Like, I mean, it's like a paragraph. It's, uh, it's not going to spoil anything. I just want to kind of give you a bit of an idea of what I'm talking about. <clears throat> so it starts out, several inches of snow had already fallen. And now, all of things, it was sleeting, transforming the yard into an ice rink. Another flush of uneasiness went through Wiley. Heavy ice or snow on the power lines was sure to lead to their collapse and an outage and complete darkness. She wanted to find Tass and get inside. Using the porch rail to steady herself and the beam from the flashlight to guide her, Wiley eased along, calling out to him. She squinted through the dark and aimed the flashlight towards the lane that led to the road. Two eerie red orbs flashed back at her. Tess, you come here, she ordered. He lowered his head, ignoring her commands. All right, this is only a glimpse. I mean, it, it gets so much more atmospheric and eerie, but of course I don't want to give too much away because I want you to read this for yourself. Uh, let's talk about the details. So right from the start, you being thrown into this moody story. It's, it was the perfect backdrop for an upcoming snowstorm here for me. And of course, for the story itself, because it is partially set during an impending snowstorm. And it really brings together the isolation and the gruesome murder which is happening don't worry i'm not spoiling anything and of course the uh the investigation to what happened and it hooks the reader in it really does and you want to know more because uh, gudenkov is so good at creating a scene and leaving it and then going to the next chapter and just kind of like leaving it suspenseful a little bit and just weaving that web of mystery. And it was a very satisfying read because it's not to the point where I'm like, ah, I'm too suspicious, I don't really care, I don't really, I don't, I don't know, I don't really want to read it. No, it's like, there's something up with this, with this character, I wanna know more. And I'm starting to have hunches. And I want to know if I'm right about those hunches or maybe not. Maybe there's a twist coming. It's like, oh my God, I had no clue this was going to go this way. So it really kept you on that edge and you didn't want to get up from your seat. I didn't want to get up there because I needed to know. Um, the protagonist was very closed off. She was kind of standoffish and she just things too much. We can hear her thoughts or we can read about her thoughts in some of the chapters that are about her and she misses opportunities and you really just sit there and go, oh girl, why, why did you do that? Why? 
don't overanalyze, just go for it. But uh, that wasn't her style. And I did not really like her. But it didn't matter because this book was plot driven and very well plot driven. So if you like the character or not, it didn't matter. She did what she had to do in order to get the story going or continue to go and it worked very well yeah yes so and of course the plot it was fantastic it was a dual narrative spanning about 20 years so we have this horrific murder the investigation and then the events of a stormy winter's night and at first all of those seem kind of random stick with it it's all gonna make sense and it's just this 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 yarn or or these these parts that don't really seem to make sense don't really seem to be connected but if you have a hunch stick with that hunch and just continue you will not be disappointed it was incredibly atmospheric and eerie the isolation and the darkness and the protagonist's anxiety just worked so well in that one part of the story that it kind of overarched all of it and really pulled you in and really set the mood. And I like that. I really appreciated it. It was an extremely rich reading experience. And if, as I'm saying, it's like the writing, it was just vivid. It was, it was, uh, it was intense. And there were a few scenes, I, I don't wanna go into too much detail, uh, but there were brutally honest and the descriptions were so realistic. This author, Grunkov, she just decided to say it how it is she she wasn't she wasn't graphic but you clearly understood what was going on and at that point i had to take a quick breather because it was just like oh she did that and she did that very well not too much one sentence but you got the point the verdict it was a great read cover to cover i as i said i did not want to get up if i had been super glued to this chair i could not have been any happier because it was just what I needed, what I wanted, and I'm definitely going to look for it forward to her next book because it was that good, and her other book, uh, This Is How I Lie, was just as good, and uh, I think she's starting to, at least for me, have a reputation of being just a really good writer. So yeah, I definitely recommend it, um, but that's enough for me. Of course, I want you to read the book yourself. Let's keep this conversation going because two people can read the same story or the same book, but never the same story. And let me know what you thought. Thanks for watching.